you very much, Mike. Let's say you are a two-income married couple, and suddenly you are a one-income married couple. It can put a tremendous financial and emotional strain on your relationship and on paying the bills. Mark Lampkin, our financial advisor, is here to give us some advice on what happens when this happens. You know, in most recessions, when a spouse loses their job, it may be the secondary income. This one, so many jobs are lost, it may be the primary income. So we mm. need to take some steps to make sure that we get through this. So number one is unemployment insurance. The average check is about $270. You can file for 26 weeks. The very first step, the day you lose your job, go file for unemployment and make sure you get a little bit of income coming in. What about health insurance, which you would lose, uh, perhaps, if a spouse lost a job? Cobra, not the snake, right? So temporary health insurance. Um, you're going to go, the second thing you're going to do is file for that temporary coverage. You don't need any unexpected surprises on health insurance. This can bankrupt your family in a second. Up to 18 month coverage on this. File for that COBRA temporary insurance and then go shop it. Make sure it's a good price. Mm -hmm. Now, what about uh, budgeting, you know, refiguring your, your budget to cut costs? You know, this is a fresh start. And, and like a dieting journal where you're writing down every single snack in there, you're going to have a tendency not to eat as much. Same thing when you're unemployed, it's important to have that kind of emergency reserve or emergency plan, if you will. Write down, I mean, to bagels, to newspapers, to coffees, to everything. You write down every single expense. Look at it the first week or two, and I guarantee you, you will identify cuts that you can make because right now, you really need to have that spending plan intact. You know, if you could cut 50% uh, of your uh, You'll be surprised. expenses, yeah. you can cut more than you think. Uh, what about uh, the temptation to raid? some of the investments that you've got. Your job loss is most likely temporary. You take money out of that 401k, it's gone forever. And not only is it gone forever, Barry, but if you're taking 10,000 out and you're below 59 and a half, you may only have 5,000 left after taxes and insurance, or I mean, uh, taxes and penalties. Bad, bad idea to go under. This has to be the last resort because you can't put that money back. Don't eat your seed corn, I That's guess. Right. Is one That's way of right. putting it, right? And uh, retraining, that's something that people uh, sometimes are reluctant to do, but uh, you say really, really approach that. I just told you not to raid that 401k. Mm -hmm. This is the only time where I'm going to tell you it's okay because you have to be relevant in this job market. And you can't, you know, the old buggy whip manufacturers, they had to retrain. Same thing for you. You have to go out, you have to retool yourself, whether it's computers, education, find your passion. Look for jobs that are important and relevant in today's society and retrain yourself. If you can't get that loan, this is the only time I'm going to tell you it's okay to raid this account and invest in yourself. That income will be there. All right, that's Mark Lampkin who says, you. Uh, you know, talk yourself off the ledge. It's uh, not as bad as it looks when you first look at it. This too shall pass. All right, thank <laughs> you, Mr. Lampkin. If you'd like uh, Mark and his people to manage your wealth and figure out how to make it grow, these are the ways to get in touch with him. There's his phone number, or you can come to our website, wdrb.com, and we'll hook you right up with Lampkin Wealth Management. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, sir. Good to see you.